Bulletproof Radio, a state of high performance. It's one of those things, though, if you only get 99% coverage, I think you can consider it uh, just one of the, the great achievements uh, of, of really the century because dementia has been an issue for a very long time, and it's just become a much bigger issue in the second half of the last century, and it's getting worse and worse now. And so the demand for what do I do to prevent it is, is actually big enough that we all know someone who doesn't recognize you anymore. Yeah. Uh, so here, so no one here, wants to go there. Great point. And so here's my prediction, Dave. Last century, we conquered acute illness, TB. Yeah. And even toward the end of the century, even HIV is much better, less, much less of a problem than it was, yeah. of course. TB, diphtheria, pneumococcal pneumonia, we conquered those. The 21st century will see, I believe, the end, essentially making very rare all of these complex chronic illnesses, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, uh, PSP, just go right down the list, lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, all of these things, because they are fundamentally different than 20th century diseases, and people kept trying to do the same thing, we're just going to throw another medicine at them. But now things are changing and we're able to see what these things actually represent. We're able to look outside flatland and see what's actually going on. And so we will be able, I think, to make all of these rare diseases. Now, yeah, you'll occasionally, as you said, you're, there are going to be people who hit their head enough. You may see some of these, although even there, there, there will be options like stem yeah. cells and things. You can grow but it these, back. I, I hit my head yeah. hard. I had um, documented toxin-induced brain damage from toxin mold that... Daniel Amen found it's not there anymore. It does grow back. You, you can go. grow it back. I just didn't have a program like yours to do it. I had spent a huge amount of money and tried everything on the planet uh, because I was desperate. Yeah. Um, so the fact that you've systematized it and legitimized it so people don't don't say that someone on, on the Recode program is crazy, whereas most people say, Dave, what you did was crazy. I'm like, yeah, but 20 years later, look at me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Crazy okay. like a box. Yeah, it cra hey, but when it works, say it so the bottom line is we're seeing improvements in electrophysiological parameters. You can yeah. look at things like P300. You can look at things like dominant alpha rhythm, theta-beta ratio, improvement in PET scans. You can look at changes there, improvements in MRI volumetrics, improvements in MOCA scores, MMSE, CNS vital signs, brain oh, HQ. Yeah. I mean, just right down the list. So this is oh. not, you know, someone seems like they're better. They are showing quantifiable objective improvement.